Uh, so the beginning here, guys, uh, we're just unloading the combine off the trailer. Um, by the way, the Kenworth behind the combine, I think Dad was probably like within inches of crushing it. I forgot his mirrors were put in, or he didn't have mirrors, so, you know, I had to stop him. Basically yelling my lungs out, so just the first part here is just backing off the trailer, and then we'll get into me explaining the video, so enjoy. guys so it's finally here Woo <laughs> anyway 9565 finally got it today uh, the one thing I did notice is we got one of the older series pickup headers on it 4200 swath master those are the older pickup headers not the newer ones so you see pictures I guess we just had a bunch of these lying around so we don't get one of the new ones um, we're pro we don't really use our pickup header all that much so the thing that's really changed from the older ones is it's all straight red now, and then the auger is gray. It's got some different colors. Um, the only real big difference is you can get an option for your grain auger that tilts in. Uh, the tip of your auger spout moves. We didn't get that option on this one, so we just have the regular one. And one of the bigger differences you'll notice is if you compare it to the older Masseys is the hood up here and the lights. It's a whole new, kind of a whole new design in the roof and stuff, so. That's one of the the main differences anyway. So I'll uh, we'll take you around and uh, kind of open it up, show you some stuff. This is probably the cleanest it's ever going to be. <laughs> so This is the best time to look at it. So obviously you got your def tank here. Um, we usually delete ours. So... Um, this one is still just regular. You got your step here. You can pull this step out like that. Uh, supposedly there's supposed to be a toolbox on here. I'm not really seeing one. We kind of have our own toolbox that we set up in here. So supposedly there's supposed to be one on here and I'm not seeing one. So we'll probably end up setting our own on. Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Cool. Oh, that's pretty big actually. Cool. So that's the toolbox. That's good to know. Sneaky, sneaky. So, uh, lots of belts inside of the belly, your rotor and concave and all that stuff's all inside there. Uh, I'm not really gonna break that down and show you too much. I understand a little bit of it, but probably not good enough to explain to you guys. Uh, here's for spreading chaff. You have a couple different settings. Um, Settings here, you can angle this higher or lower. Uh, you can change some of your fins as well. Uh, I believe for, basically if we're chopping, this is all the way in. And if we want to drop a swath, we have to take this and we have to, it will slide up, slide up on this rail here and it slides up to, out to about here. So then the your straw will drop down here. So this is set up for chopping, for spreading right now. Bunch of belts and stuff in there. You can see some spots. They kind of, you know, same spots that I usually don't get when I clean. Uh, one new thing I did find is with the battery box over here. Now, like there used to be a key here you could pull out. Now you just have a, a switch. So they did change that. Um, we'll open up these other panels here. I'm gonna have to use my other hands here. For 
whatever reason, I cannot get that to open. So, there's your engine up there. I'm trying to think what they use in the Masseys. I know I think some of the tractors could be the Azizu. I'm not sure if that's what's in this Massey or not. I'd have to look, but... Yeah, that should be just really simple, but... I'm not sure what the... Well, I can't open that up. Not with one hand, guys, so... Sorry about that. I'm not sure what's going on with that panel, but man, that is tight. So basically, all that's in here is your your elevators for your grain. So, go through everything, and then you've got your clean grain hogger. So that pretty much takes your takes your grain, takes it up to your hopper. That's all that does. So there'll just be a bunch more gears and stuff in there. So not too much to show you guys. But yeah, this is kind of a... Uh, and I believe Trident is kind of the computer system that they uses. That's why it says Trident on there. So, and she looks pretty spiffy. Uh, if you watch in Farm Sim, this is the exact combine that I use. It obviously looks quite a bit different. I'm uh, hoping one day that it will look just like this one. Obviously, the colors are still a little bit off, but I uh, will go show you inside. Couple of the, this is supposed to have cameras on it. I turned the cameras on, I don't get any cameras showing up, so I'm thinking we don't have any cameras on it. So, kind of all the things I thought we were gonna get, we haven't, but uh, this shield on the front here, I'm sure lots of you guys have seen them. Uh, it's called a seed saver. So, basically, when you're doing canola, that keeps the canola from coming out and landing up on top here and sitting here, and it just it keeps. Lots of, lots of crop will come up and slosh and then kernels will go off and it just it kind of keeps everything in. So I don't I don't know if you'd ever see much of a return on it. It's just something little that everybody seems to do now. So we'll go in the cab. And uh, some nice little features like this is where your cameras would be up here. Obviously we didn't have this in our old one. And our old one had some stuff over here and up here, and now they've put it all on one panel here. So you got your temperature here, and yeah, pretty much everything's the same as the old one down here. Um, yeah, other than that, that stuff relocated. One thing I did notice, we'll start it up here. And uh, gotta make sure it's in neutral. If it's not neutral, it won't start. I did notice if you can see it is this lights up down here with your fuel and your def that's your def that's your fuel that's a pretty cool little thing our old combine did not have that so they've kind of redesigned this steering column a little bit so that's kind of cool and then yeah you pretty much just got the monitor with all your stuff on it and really not much else to show you guys so this is uh this is the new beast I think it looks damn sexy and uh, I can't wait to use it. I'm just gonna drive it around the yard a whole bunch right now. And no, we gotta put uh, we have to put our fields in. And uh, what else we gotta do? I guess here we'll go. We'll close our close our grain tank. So if I remember how to do that, I uh, go up here to your grain tank, and I should be able to close it. So you can do it automatically. Oh, how much do you want to bet I got out of the seat? <laughs> again, Terry, that's what happened. I got out of the seat, and so we'll do her again. So I guess you can't get out of the seat. That's good to know. Window's kind of dirty, so it's kind of hard to see. So we're closing up the grain tank. Uh, that's just that button there, it does it automatically. Or there is this button down here, does it manually. So depends what you want to do, whether you want to use the computer to do it or not. Uh, we got our auto steer here, and I got to add a few uh, can plugs in here for our farmer's edge and I got to put some fields in and so we got to put a radio in here too got to have a radio so that is one thing to do and yeah pretty much 
I don't know what else to show you guys. That's pretty much, we'll maybe just go back out and take one more quick look at her, but. I would put the header down, but I can't put it, I can't put it down yet. Cause you gotta get, I gotta lift it up and take, this is for when you're transporting it and stuff on guys having on trucks, this keeps it, <clears throat> keeps your header from crashing down. So you'd have to take this off or you'd bend it. So that's something I have to do, but we will uh, close this for now. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty slick. 95, 65, oh man, I tell you, I just, I don't know what it is about Massey, but it's just so beautiful. You guys wait till we get an ideal one day. That'll be even more beautiful, but for now, this is what we got. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. This might be a little bit hard. Hold on a second, guys. I just need just a little lip I had to lift up on. So there you guys go. Uh, you'll definitely get to see some footage of this in action. You'll get to see it in the field. Uh, I could show you up top, but just engine, <clears throat> stuff like that. Some reservoirs for oil and hydraulic fluid and stuff and fuel filters and all that good stuff. So I mean, one th good thing about doing this combine though is when you do the oil, uh, there is a, I think this is the oil line. I think this is the hydraulic oil line. I changed oil once before and I actually emptied out all the hydraulic oil because I picked the wrong line. I knew it once I'd opened it, but I think the other, this other line here is the oil line. So pretty easy to change oil. Just comes all down the, on the hose, pretty simple. Um, sometimes the combines have the tread on this back tire backwards. It just helps for traction. So if you ever see the tread backwards, that's why. Uh, some Massey's have it, some don't, depends, I guess. But it looks like I'm gonna have to do some cleaning. Like if you look in there, got some good old, Rotten green and stuff in there, so I'll have to clean that out before we start. But you know, typical. Got to do a little bit of a cleaning, even when it's a new machine. Well, it's new to us. It's a year old, or it's uh, farmers that run four of these usually trade off a couple every year, and we usually buy one of their trades. So this one's I think a year old. So I'd have to look how much it has for hours. But yeah, just give you one more little quick look, and I think that's gonna be it. So. Like I said, gonna be lots and lots of footage of, hopefully I can get a lot of footage of this at harvest time. I'm not always around the combine. Sometimes I'm baling or stacking. So if I am around, I'll try and get as much as I can. If I'm running it, I will try and get a bunch of footage as well. But like I said, we'll, we'll have to see. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later.